them, you have to have, like, I don't know. Your stamina is exactly what matters. And I've actually read tips about this game, too, and stamina, when, when it comes to Nero checkpoints, stamina is something that you want to focus on. Because where stamina is definitely key to this game. So I think, from this point forward, when I go to the uh, Nero checkpoints, I'm going to be mainly focusing on stamina. Because maybe at that point, maybe I'll feel a little more comfortable taking on hordes, right? Get that progression up there a little bit. Because honestly, you know, the items you get for getting the hordes all taken care of, I like the, I like the weapons and stuff that you get for it, for doing that, you know? All the weapons and anything else you get for completing. Awesome. Oh, no, I want to repair and refuel. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? I'll fill her up. There. Good as new. Sure. Nice. All right. Later. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, <laughs> And when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? Huh, so we're heading north, and that's something that Boozer and I were supposed to be doing. I don't think he's gonna be any have. I don't think he's gonna be happy about that. See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down. Shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God. Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north. Check out the hydro dam just to see why it shut down. Oh no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can write. No, you're not. 
Now we're going in quiet. We run into Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? That means more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Well, Tricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh, that's a pretty look in your face. You. I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh huh. Exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. The big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that meant Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. Just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. There's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You never thank me for <laughs> anything. Maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where'd you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? A Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's going to track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm well, riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just no. No. Nothing happened. And no, I might didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. I, I think I've already been here. Because this looks familiar a bit. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? If I was yeah, here. And if we run into any, we're gone. Right, yeah, because look at the police car. It's been looted. Yeah, I've been here. Because there was also a, like a group of zombies here Down that I took here. care of as well. Oh. oh wow, look at that. Oh no no no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. 
Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. So we're gonna have to get that shit up and running? What happened there? Oh. What? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Uh, hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Yeah, so I've got a feeling we're going to get that shit up and running. Uh, some, something bad's going to happen. Oh, there's a police people there, too. And uh, we're going to have to kind of like... Wait, I didn't open this one. I didn't open this one. What the fuck? I think I, I might have meant to, but I just... Or maybe I didn't see it. I don't know. Oh, Max did not know anyway. You know, like I say, I've got a feeling something bad's going to happen when we try to get the shit up and running. Oh, there are some newts. And we're going to get some, like, fucking... Maybe, I don't know, large groups of zombies coming in. I don't know about hordes, but... I mean, there are quite a few newts here. Might be useful. Come here, touch this. Come on. Hmm. Okay. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the pencil. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad? Brothers? No. Come on, over here. All right, let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Well, it's now or never. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it, though. Run back down to the turbine. To, to see if it's vibrating at all. Alright, let's do it. Jesus, look at the newts, man. They're always chilling on these fucking little rooftops. be that easy. Yeah, you're right. It couldn't be that easy. There's no fucking way, man. Some some shit's gonna go down. I know it. I'm surprised that most of the things I've said that I know was gonna happen hasn't happened yet. Ha <laughs> ha. You feel that vibration? Because I just, you know, yeah, some of them I can feel it's gonna happen, dead. but they don't. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? Alright, come on. Let's check out the Transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah. It was a long time ago.
Hmm. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. Uh, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? Uh, all right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. <laughs> a few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cap. <laughs> oh, yes. I So here, I was here. Me up. Yeah, I totally was. I was totally here. Okay, okay got it. Uh, there. Here, I got the gate. Oh, no, thank you. Junction room's right around here. It's a good thing I already took care of the zombies in here. Freakers, whatever you want to call them now. It's a really good thing I've already taken care of them. Oh, God, what is that smell? Oh, there's a nest like here? A nest. And the smell of it more than a couple. <laughs> Stay close. Oh, is this going to mean more progress for my uh, nest progression shit? Molotovs you got with you. Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Oh, no. Damn, this place is a. There's one in here. Oh boy. Burn it down. I think my shotgun is weak. I don't know. I think the shotgun's kind of like meh. No. We're up here. Coming. Oh, hold on. Light her up. Ready? Oh, No, there's more. What are you saying? You good? Yeah. They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. The power to the people. <laughs> All right. Let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. No, there's still more. What are you saying? Like, there's still more nests. This is it. You ready? Yep. There was another nest in there. Okay. Unless one of them... or Unless it was, like, all one nest. <laughs> Yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door in. I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... Jesus <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Deep. Come on. <laughs> Can I... Okay, cool. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. He just, uh... You never mentioned him before, so I'm, you know I'm sorry if I if it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. Me of I to ask you. 
Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. I thought there was another nest here. Come on, we gotta get moving. There was totally another nest here, right? Yeah. Oh. Because it was in there. Huh. Well, I guess we took care of it then. Yep. Alright, cool. Mission zone, huh? Kind of lost. Where the fuck? Oh, right over here. Right. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. <laughs> Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. <sighs> God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> do you come on. Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. It was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Yeah, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, D. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Get low! They're on the back! Find them! Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake Cab! Iron Mike has a treaty! Well, it looks like that treaty's broke. Can I try that again? Yeah, it looks like that treaty is gone now. Gone. Fuck yeah. it. You did. Well, you assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? Oh, 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 get fucked. Look at them all. Why don't you drag your asses back to Iron? Oh, I shot the other guy instead. Far north, aren't you? Well, you don't want to get too far away from the car, do you? Fuck. Well, that.